this drain, oops, hang on. This rain it doesn't have anything to do with what we're going to talk about today. I just brought you outside just to kind of cool things down. I mean, these past few days, there's just too much uh, tension and rage over the internet because of this mice hamdan issue. So I thought it would be nice to feel some cool breeze outside, right? Look at that, it's so cold. What's up everybody, Jaffrey here. Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. for you guys how does your accent affect your daily conversation I mean are you being judged by how you talk or are you being bullied somehow I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this so um, talking about accents now locally we have our own national um, language which is Tagalog but we don't say it all in the same way that is because we were raised in different regions of our country which also have local dialects and local accents that we grew up into. So let me just um, give my region as an example. So this is how a full-blooded Igor like me talk in Tagalog. Bakit nga eh? Ang tagal-tagal ko nang naliligaw sa'yo eh parang wala naman akong pag-asa. Okay nga Ruth. Nine to <laughs> Did I somehow sound like Carrot Man at all? Well, he is also an eagle, so at least we have something in common. So here's one more example. An Ebaloy accent. Bakit kaya kapag nagsasalita ako, eh, sinasabi nila na ibaloy ako? Dahil kaya sa pananamig ko? <laughs> yeah, I think that line would be better off with the Highlander Ilocano. It was something like this. Uy, Fudley! Apay nga tanga no agsasawa ako at kurkunada nga ibaloy ako. Madlaw nga tayo pa nagbadbado. Asia Moki Dim Fudley. Okay, guys, just to clear things out, I'm not mocking or making fun of any of those languages. Those are just examples, by the way. So, what's my point here? So, there would be times that you may sound weird to some people or even funny to others. But you don't need to be ashamed of of your accents. I mean, be proud of it because that is your identity, and that and that's how you represent your culture to other people. Hmm. This actually reminds me you know, of an old funny story. So there was this guy from from the Highlands who does not know any other languages but Ilocano. So he went down to the city. He went down to Manila. And then when he got back, he was starting to talk in Tagalog. I mean, he was really trying hard to talk in Tagalog. I can only imagine how it sounded like. <laughs> when he got back, he even told his friends that he forgot to talk uh, his, his uh, local tongue, uh, which is Ilocano. And of course, his friends asked him, how long have you been in Manila? And then he said, he was there for two days. I mean, I don't know what happened, but maybe he felt like he was there for two years or so. Okay. And uh, <laughs> apparently, the funny thing is, he was he was actually there just to pick up someone from the airport. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. Be proud of who you are. 
You owe it to your culture. Going back to accents. So I'm sure at least once in your life you tried to play around other languages and accents which were not are not your own. And not only that we play jokes around them, most of us are guilty of silently judging other people on how they sound like when they're talking. Like uh, when you hear someone talking like an Igor, you would think that, hey, this person lives in the mountains and only eats camote and don't even know how to speak English. Or when you hear someone t uh, talking like Bisaya, you would also think that, um, all right, this one is someone's yaya or helper. I mean, we stereotype people, admit it. But it would have been fine, I think, if we keep our judgments in ourselves first and before we even open our mouths to gossip about what we think, we should get to know them more or we should know more about them. Who knows who we are judging is actually our, our boss or our president. You know, bottom line, it's just a matter of respect. Hashtag just saying. Whew, so there, so nice to be outside. I think I'm gonna go fishing right now. It's still raining. Thank you guys for uh, stopping. Please like this video if uh, it did anything to you. And uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. And guys, I'll see you on the next video. Shoo.